So it's about that time. I'm uh, tagging a couple people. Hey guys, sorry I was tagging a couple people I'm a couple minutes early. Um, a little bit nervous. I don't normally get nervous about uh, pepper reviews, but I don't normally have people sending me peppers that they want to have reviewed that no one else has a re reviewed. Um, so I guess that makes me nervous. Uh, not stage fright, just nervous. I always want to push my limits, push my boundaries. You know what that hat is? If you do, more power to you. That's a part of me. Hope it's part of you. Um, for you guys that are out there, I am Jeff Hobbs. And sometimes I'm known as the Pepper Wolverine. I'm known as the Pepper Wolverine because um, I got my starting on the Pepper Lovers community, the original format, on Google Plus before it disbanded, and was a member there for quite a few years. And um, some of the fellow members there gave me the name of a uh, Pepper Wolverine. It's a name I acquired. I didn't give myself. I was given that thing um, because. Uh, Apparently, I attacked peppers with a voracious appetite that wasn't necessarily seen or visible on that platform at that point in time. So, I had a good buddy of mine, Jesus Rosario. He's a uh, un compadre. Uh, he lives down in Puerto Rico. A great guy. Uh, I gave him a picture and told him what I wanted, and he kind of helped me come up with that. Might be time to uh, revise it a little bit. But I still love it, and I wear it proudly. Um, we're hanging out in the Pepper Wolverines jungle. Getting ready to get cut down, because I got a couple 27 degree temperatures coming soon. Um, we're here to unveil uh, a new pepper. Um, it, it will not be available yet to the general public, um, so please don't ask me for seeds. And please don't ask uh, the creator, uh, Kevin Bain, uh, for seeds either. Uh, neither one of us will have them. Uh, the seeds that I have available to me will be ingested uh, only. And a Three Mile Island dropped the bomb in the background. Hell yeah! We got something here that uh, Kevin is calling catacombs. Catacombs is a three-way cross and I don't know all of the genetics. I know that it was a ghost cross with something. And at the early stages, um, another uh, genetics was introduced. Um, at that point, Kevin liked the flavor of it and his point of uh, trying to produce this was trying to get us a chocolate pod that um, wasn't so floral and overwhelming because he's a, a guy that's trying to genetically produce peppers that have great flavor with uh, an outstanding amount of heat in the background, but flavor first. So this is something he's calling catacombs. Um, it's, uh, uh, let's call it a triplex, triple. Started off as a ghost something cross, and immediately um, he crossed it with something else. And these peppers are at an F4 stage. He's been working on them since uh, 2015, and him and I became friends because I was posting some stuff, and he was posting some stuff, and we liked what we, each other was posting, and we kind of built a 
relationship. Um, I've shared with him some things from the garden in the background or the side yard. He liked them. Um, and he decided, hey, I like what you do on some of your reviews. What do you think about this? I was like, yeah. hats off. Let's see what we can do. So, this is a catacombs. I don't know much about it other than the for fact that it's in an F4 stage. It's got three things in its genetics, one of which is being a ghost. And it was bred for flavor. Uh, heat being a consideration as well, but uh, flavor. It's a chocolate pod. If left on the plant for a longer period of time, start developing some caramel uh, characteristics. And obviously I got two slightly different phenos here. Um, I'm gonna go with the shorter pheno. My trusty pepper knife that was gifted to me by Brother Bear, uh, Mr. Aaron Hernandez. We've known each other since the uh, Google Plus days of uh, Pepper Lovers Community. Uh, gifted this to me a little while ago, and I continue to use it to this day. And I love this knife. I cleaned it, and I sharpened it, and we're going to use that to cut through what's called catacombs. Mr. Mallon, thank you very much. I like to think that uh, that I can do that, and I, I believe that's why Kevin asked me to if, uh, if I can eat this for him and give it a review. I know there's uh, other people besides myself that can do the same thing. Um, I consider myself a lucky individual now that I know more about him. Um. <laughs> Interesting. So little bit floral on the knife for the catacombs and I forget the scientific uh, name but this pepper was gonna grow another pepper inside up here down there parthenid parthenid something I forget the scientific name um, it was growing a pepper inside of a pepper um, so I tried to cut it right down the middle um, pretty thick placental tissue through both halves the initial flavor on the knife was a little bit floral um, not overwhelmingly floral just a little bit floral the nodes coming out of the pepper are fruity and slightly earthy which is an interesting mix you normally don't get fruity and earthy on a lot of chocolate pods you get like earthy tones this one's uh yeah placenta stick for sure but let's check it let's see how thick that placenta is i mean this let's let's, let's do my buddy kevin a favor Let's let's cut through that section. Let's pull out the placenta. Not pull it out, but let's separate it. And what I see on the inside now is a juicy, oily wall. Interesting. So the placental tissue, while cutting through the middle section, is uh, relatively thick. Um, it's not as thick as it would be seem to be if you don't remove it and pull it up and look behind it still uh, nonetheless I mean it's pretty cool um, it's got an interesting aroma so let's um, I guess let's dive into it but I will say please don't ask me for any seeds um, I will not have any seeds left over I'm gonna ingest most of them or all of them um, Kevin's not releasing this, at least for another one to two generations. Um, I've been entrusted just with an honest review. He was looking for an honest review. I'm going to try to give that. So Half of it with the Parthenogen internal growth pepper down the hatch. 
other half of that is there. Hey Larry, I'm sorry you're at work, buddy, but I'm glad you could like at least check in, chime in, whatnot. Tony, good to see you. I don't know if I've ever seen you chime into one of my uh, live uh, Facebook reviews. We're uh, hanging out here with something called Catacombs, which was created by uh, Kevin Bain, which um, I didn't know this because I'm not the most educated of people that are out there um, crossing peppers, but apparently he's done quite a few crosses, some pretty interesting ones as well. Mr. Brian, good. Thank you. Cool to hang out. What's up, uh, Batman? I'm uh, hanging out. Keeping my original PLC pride happy. Enjoying something. Uh, I never, No one's ever tried before except for the creator. Uh, something called a catacomb. So, half down the hatch, half down the other hatch. something called the catacombs the catacombs is uh, currently at an f4 stage um holy shit so at the assumable f2 stage a chocolate ghost that was crossed with something had something else introduced to it to give it a different flavor The pictures I saw of the original pepper from 15 were a little bit more elongated, kind of like the second pod that I have not eaten. Um, I chose the shorter stout pod that's currently at F2. The heat on this pepper kicked in pretty quick. Normally it takes a little bit to build or you're overridden by earthy tones and or floral tones on a chocolate pod. Still working through a little bit of it. The seed base is definitely bitter, but the, the seed base wasn't that thick. The placental tissue was thicker. Um, Hey guys, for those of you who want to see it, here's a half broken seed that I just chewed through. <laughs> Not getting that. Um, but the floral tones, which have overriding nodes of fruitiness, are really kicking it on the backside. And that heat's kicking back to my ears. If a heat kicks back to my ears, I'm going to tell you, I'll put it on an easy 9 to 10 on my heat scale. If it hits the ears, Gives me an ear ringer. It's a 10, 10 plus. This is getting there. I mean, it's moving back. And it hasn't been that much time. I feel honored to uh, be given a position to try something that no one or no one or almost no one has. Uh, thank you, Kevin. This pepper is unique. It's unique in the respect that the heat immediately climbs, but it has flavor, and it's not an overriding earthy, nutty tone or a floral tone to it. It's fruity in the background. Now, this mofo is getting so hot, it's hard to really describe that fruity-esque nature to the flavor, but wow, what a respectable pepper. Uh, my mouth is watering. It's getting ready to like, I'm going to like, just like drool. Oh, I'm not going to lie. My eyes are watering. 
I might get some sweat here in a second. I'm not sure. The tongue is on fire. Pins and needles. Pins and needles. Absolute phenomenal heat level. Uh, there haven't been too many um, peppers that have gotten me like this uh, this season. I've had a couple in the garden. Um, anyone that's watched my, any of my videos either on YouTube or here have seen those said peppers because I chose out specifically what I was going to review based upon what I thought would have going to push the limits. And, and, and any of you guys that know me know that I don't really eat just any pepper uh, on video. I could, but I don't. I choose to review something that might be relatively new, relatively different, and provide you as a viewer or as someone that might be a customer of somebody's um, of a pepper that whether you might want to grow it out, might not want to grow it out, why you might want to grow it out. Are you looking for flavor? Are you looking for heat? Or are you looking for both? Heat this has. I mean, my goodness. It's still climbing. It's still going. It's like the elevator going up to floor 13. Flavor-wise, for a chocolate pepper, it's quite interesting. It doesn't have that earthy or nutty tone. It's more of a... Slightly bitter background. Bitter. Uh, only in the background, though. Not overriding. But fruity in the front, on the front half. I can't tell you what fruit it tastes like, but man. It's good. This is a hell of a pepper, Kevin. This kicks ass. I haven't found a whole lot of chocolate peppers that I really would eat for flavor at the upper echelon of a uh, heat level. This is one of them though. This thing kicks butt. So we're hanging out, eating a pepper that was uh, bestowed to me, gifted to me from uh, a newly acquainted friend, Kevin Bain. It's something called a catacomb. It's a three-way cross between a ghost pepper and something <clears throat> excuse me man sorry guys and uh, from what I can assume at the F2 stage something else was introduced to it and Kevin's been working on it since then since 2015 and these are at the F4 stage I will say this is a hellaciously hot pepper It's definitely gone back to the ears. It didn't go full ear, five alarm fire. <sighs> but there is a one and a half, two alarm ear ringer going on. Wow. Impressive. More impressive because it's got flavor. I mean, I, I pride myself on, on doing these reviews to help you guys out. And I pride myself on being honest. For me, honesty is just giving you guys what I experience. Um, I'm experiencing a, a really, really hot pepper with a phenomenal flavor for a chocolate pepper because I don't normally enjoy flavors of some of the other super duper hot chocolate uh, peppers. I did have one earlier this season that I did enjoy. It was a Carbon Boot 7 Pot Yellow crossed with a 7 Pot Primo that I got from a Tony Sherwood, that one caught me by surprise. Uh, that heat level almost got me close to panic mode, and anyone that watched that video saw that. But it had a, a good flavor. This has an equally good or better flavor, and almost an equally impressive heat level. I mean, holy crap. It's uh, 51 degrees here, and I am sweating. It's kind of hard to see, but there are some sweat beads up there. Wow. 
uh, full effects upper esophagus came down to the, like a halfway throat level trying to clear out the nasal passages I'm gonna give it a farmer blow and clean that out so I can see if I feel a little bit better because all of a sudden I must have been congested and it kind of like blew it up to my nostrils hold on a second sorry guys in the meantime just check out some peppers that's what I gotta harvest uh, tomorrow or the next day um, before I actually get freezing temperatures here in the next couple days because I do have a, a 27 and a 28 here in the near future or you can check out that seven pot primo in the background that's a 32 gallon karateki plant anyone that follows me just saw the 70 some odd peppers I pulled off of it and now it looks like there's another 50 or 60 more and the catacombs for a pepper this hot it's actually quite enjoyable from a flavor perspective Daddy? yes hold on a second my son's calling me uh, I do have a uh, family responsibilities and obligations as well hey buddy I'm on a video can I finish this or you need something okay you wanna you wanna get a, get in the video you wanna come here hey guys uh this is my son JT uh, we're celebrating his uh, ninth birthday tomorrow and my wife's uh, 25th birthday tomorrow they actually celebrate the same day say hello hey what's your name Jeffrey Hobbs Jeffrey Hobbs welcome mm. <laughs> um so yeah it's not rocket that's right. Uh, I call it the farmer blow, snot rocket, whatever. You got to clean it out sometimes. Um, this is one of the most enjoyable, if not the most enjoyable, super hot chocolate pepper I've had. And I've had a couple of them. Uh, skunk chocolate, chocolate bootla, CPR, um, the carbon boot seven pot yellow, Cross with the seven pot primo that turned out chocolate. Uh, even my own Wolverine's claw, uh, which is most of you have no idea what that is. Um, this is a heck of a good flavored, super hot chocolate pepper. When uh, Kevin does release this, you 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 guys as the general public will be happy. Um, wow. The, it plateaued. It's on the decline. Incredibly juicy floral nature left in the mouth. Still salivating quite a bit. I did that snot rocket and now my nostrils are on fire. Yeah. That's right, Francis. Yeah. Indian snot in the corner. Oops. Not very smart. Hell of a pepper. Hell of a pepper. Uh, this will definitely go in the um, Pepper Wolverine's top five uh, for heat level uh, this season. Uh, some of the other ones that uh, were in there, and I might not get it in the right order, the uh, Hydro Pepper from Europe, Starscream from Europe, uh, the Golden Reaper I tried the other day from uh, here in the U.S., Big Mustard Mama crossed with a bubblegum was up there. A couple of others, um, but this is upper echelon heat for sure. Very enjoyable though. More enjoyable than most other uh, chocolate peppers uh, for me. Kevin, thanks for entrusting me to uh, review a pepper that hasn't been reviewed before. I hope I did it justice. I, all I can do is just uh, give my opinion and uh, make it as honest as possible. I'm just a guy that likes peppers a lot. Anyone that knows me from the four and five years back from the original Google Plus Pepper Lovers community know me because that was kind of my tag with my picture was just a guy that likes peppers a lot. And I do like them a lot. And I like this one. It's a 
you got something. Keep it going. Bring that out to like F7, F8, and, then, and wait till then to let the public uh, enjoy it. Hell of a pepper. Um, guys, I appreciate it. I had a pretty big audience at one point in time. I saw I was up to like 30 people live or something, which is for me is a, a milestone. I haven't seen that many people live. I, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you didn't, let me know why not. I'll try to do something different. Um, got a couple more peppers to do before this season's over. I mean, it's, it's almost over, but it's not quite over. Um, I got a couple more days before freezing temperatures. I got a couple friends that want to hook me up, trade me out. Um, but the Catacombs, which is a three-way cross, is one hell of a contender for an incredible chocolate pepper. Thanks, guys. I'm going to tune out here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been the uh, Pepper Wolverine hanging out with some hot peppers. Thank you, guys. It's been fun. We'll do it again soon. Maybe, like, tomorrow. <laughs> Peace out.